We are given x plus y equals 6, and we need to find the maximum value of x raised to power y, where both x and y are greater than or equal to 0. If x is 1, then y will be 5, and x to the power y becomes this, which is 1. If x is 2, y will be 4, and x to the power y becomes this, which is 16. If x is 3, y becomes 3, and the value becomes this, which is 27. Then for x equals 4, this will be the value of x to the y. As we try more values, we will notice that the result changes significantly, sometimes very small and sometimes very large. If we draw a graph of x to the power y using different values of x and y, such that their sum is 6, we will see a curve that first increases, hits a peak, and then decreases. This curve will have only one maximum point, a clear highest value somewhere here, which is roughly around 2.9. But instead of just relying on the graph, today we will actually find that exact value algebraically. Let us substitute y as 6 minus x here to get this x to the power y as x to the power 6 minus x, and let us call this as a function a of x. Now to find the maximum of this function, we need to take the derivative of a of x with respect to x and set it equal to zero. To make this easier, let us first take the natural log of a of x and call it l of x. So l of x will be log of x to the power 6 minus x. Now using this logarithm rule, it will become 6 minus x times log of x. Now we differentiate l with respect to x. Using the product rule, we get derivative of 6 minus x, which is minus 1 times log of x, plus 6 minus x times derivative of log of x, which is 1 by x. So the derivative becomes minus log of x plus 6 minus x divided by x. Making the denominator as common, we can also rewrite it as minus x times log x plus 6 minus x divided by x. Now set it equal to 0. This gives us minus x times log x plus 6 minus x equals 0. Take this to the right-hand side, which gives us 6 minus x equals x times log of x. On rearranging, we can write it as 6 equals x plus x times log of x, which is x times log of x plus 1 equals 6. Now this equation cannot be solved directly, so we try to bring it in a form where we can use the Lambert W function. Suppose we have a function of the form owl times e to the power of owl, and this owl can be any expression. It doesn't matter what we write here. So you apply the w function around this expression. The result will simply be equal to owl. This is the beauty of Lambert w function. For example, we can write 3 times e to the power 3. And now if we apply a w function on this expression, the result will be, yeah, you guessed it right. It will be 3. Amazing. Now here comes the magic. We can rewrite x as e to the power natural log of x, right? So put it here. Now multiply both sides of the equation with e, and we get 6 times e equals log of x plus 1 times e to the power log of x times e. Now we can rewrite this e as e to the 1, and using this power rule, we can club both of them together to write it as e to the log of x plus 1. Next, we will apply w function on both sides to get this. Oh, look here. We have log of x plus 1 as our owl function, and thus this entire expression will become log of x plus 1, which equals w of 6 times e. Don't be afraid of this thing as it's just a constant. Now subtract 1 from both sides to get log of x equals w of 6 times e minus 1. And finally, raise e to both sides to get x equals e to the power w of 6 times e minus 1. Again, don't be afraid of this thing as it's just a constant. 
So the value of x that maximizes x to the power y is this, which, using Wolfram Alpha, we found to be approximately 2.904. And that's it. This matches almost exactly with what we observed earlier from the graph. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. So good.